Hello there. Welcome to Business Incorporated on Channels Television. I am BC Adibayo. Today on the program, South Africa's business confidence jumps to 95.3 on the day President Zuma faces a no-confidence vote and Egypt's fuel subsidy spending tops $6.76 billion. Plus, Commonwealth Bank of Australia takes away CEO's bonus shares over alleged money laundering. But let's look at the markets and we begin right here in Africa where all the indices are bleeding at intraday. The Nigerian All Share Index is 0.17% down at 37,460.42, while the South African burst is 0.20% lower at 56,055.74. The Egyptian Index is 0.03% down also at intraday. The markets in Kenya are closed for elections. In the meantime, stock markets in the Gulf were narrowly mixed in sluggish early trade today, although Dubai's Air Arabia rose sharply on better-than-expected second-quarter earnings. Dubai's index declined 0.28%, however, as uh, falling stocks outnumbered gainers 14 to 8. Abu Dhabi's index edged down 0.08% as Danagas, which is expected to report earnings on Thursday, sank 3.1%. In Saudi Arabia, the index gained 0.4% as Bigfoot maker Savola added 3.8% despite reporting quarterly profits sank to $61.1 million as sales declined. Qatar's index is also up 0.33%. European stocks tilted lower today as disappointing trade data from Germany and China pulled on key sectors and cast doubt on the prospects for those powerhouses economies. Trading got underway on Tuesday with figures from Germany showing export fell by 2.8% on the month in June. And that's the first decline in exports this year. Investors are also digesting data of exports and current account deficit out of France and Germany. Well, Daniel Koop is waiting at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange to tell us how the markets are faring today in Europe with the latest developments. Many thanks for joining us, Daniel. Ein wunderschönen Nachmittag aus Frankfurt, which means a very beautiful afternoon from Frankfurt. I hope you're doing fine. Yes, indeed. So talk us through the latest not-so-sweet economic data of exports and current account deficit out of France and Germany. Yeah, what's going on with Germany at the moment? Everybody is always calling here inside uh, the stock exchange, but also uh, in Germany, that Germany is always, you know, the champion uh, when it comes to export. And now we have this month and also the last month where the numbers of export were actually dropping. Already in June, the numbers were down, now in August, and they are dropping as they didn't do it during the last two years. Compared to one month before, Exports were dropping by 2.8% here in the, in the country. Import also by 4.5%. And the last time we saw something like that was in 2009. Why is all of this happening right now before the German election? Do the Germans now need to worry? When you talk to experts, they're clearly saying this is not the case, that this is an exception. All the forecasts of Germany uh, regarding to export and also to import until the end of the year are actually very promising. But sometimes there are reasons behind this that are actually hard to understand and sometimes even hard to believe. Experts are saying that when you look, for example, at the last month, there were simply not enough business days to do uh, business and also to create a growth in export. We had uh, many national holidays here in Germany, such as Pentecost and also the Fest of the Corpus of Christ. So that's uh, one reason they are giving us right now for the latest uh, numbers uh, dropping when it comes to export. Um, but clearly, I just mentioned it, uh, the indication for the rest of the year are promising, so nobody here, I guess in Germany, needs to be worried right now. So how is the market today digesting the uh, China's latest positive me. trade surplus report? Oh, 
seem to have lost Daniel there, but uh, we might be able to continue the conversation with him. But let's stay with the markets, but this time in the U.S., where uh, U.S. West Stock Index futures point to a flat open today as investors continue to wait through another batch of corporate earnings and data. The earnings season continues to rumble on with a number of major companies set to report later today. The job openings and labor turnover survey are also expected. Looking at the futures numbers now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average futures slips below the 22 mark, while the S&P 500 futures are down 0.05% and the Nasdaq futures also 0.02% down at 5,933.02. Well, Daniel Koop is back to continue the updates coming from the European market. So I was asking that how is the market today digesting the Chinese latest positive trade surplus report? Yeah, here I am again, BZ. Um, the same problem that Germany is uh, facing is also the case with China. And experts were uh, actually very surprised about that. Uh, exports went up in China. It's not dropping as it did in uh, Germany, but um, it only went up by 7%. And experts were at least expecting a growth of a Chinese export by 11%. So there's a pretty uh, big gap. Also, when you look at the uh, trading um, in China. All the stock exchanges in Asia were influenced uh, by this. And also when you look here at the blue chip index DAX, the blue chip index DAX already started this morning uh, very slow because we got those indications from China. Uh, this is actually, those are the export numbers of Germany that came in. So also not really uh, helping the trading here today uh, at the stock market. I mentioned a little bit earlier the reason why uh, the export of Germany is down. The problem that that China has been, has been facing during the last weeks and months was actually very severe weather. Some parts of the country were even, uh, was even uh, flooded. And because of that, in some of the industrial region in China, uh, the export business uh, couldn't be as fast as it usually uh, is. Um, another reason that I also have to mention, and that's what's most likely uh, going to give some calmness also why uh, the Chinese don't need to worry that much right now about those numbers, is uh, still the ongoing conflict uh, of China with the United States. We remember that the United States has criticized China a lot in the past years for always creating this big export surplus. So now China at least has an argument to say that this is at least not for the moment the case and we remember that Donald Trump has said many times that he might even put very high taxes on imports coming from China to the United States. Well just before you go Daniel squeeze in some latest earnings that are moving the market needles for us in the new week. Well, earning reports came in today from Deutsche Post. It's the biggest German mail carrier, but it's not just a German company. It's a company operating worldwide. It's also owning DHL. So Deutsche Post came with earning reports today. Their total revenue went up by 4.4% to 14.8 billion euros now in the second quarter. Since e-commerce is growing, mostly their business when it's parcels and also their express service has been very successful. I don't know how it is in uh, Nigeria, but in Germany and many European countries, you know, we all do texting and, you know, WhatsApp. So uh, sending a regular mail like you did before, or we did before, is not anymore as common. So those numbers are dropping already since a long time, or also uh, this time by 5%. But when you compare this to competitors of Deutsche Post, and there are competitors, for example, the Post in France, those numbers are still very good. So, yeah, that's the latest business update here coming today on this Tuesday from Frankfurt. Back to you in Lagos. BC. Thanks, Daniel, for those updates and see you again tomorrow.